Hey everyone, I wanted to point out a big move that's happening right now in the solar sector. Um, we've got massive breakouts on all the major solar stocks. Um, most of them have been forming cups and the move is so powerful it doesn't look like um, they'll be forming handles. Um, they're just breaking out left and right. Um, so the first one we can take a look at is CSIQ. Um, <coughs> Solar was really good in the first half of uh, 2014, uh, but they kind of uh, slowed down. But it looks like uh, 2015 uh, starting off really well for solar again. So here you have CSIQ breaking out of this cup right here um, on 15%. Um, next one, first solar. Oops, first solar. <coughs> also another cup pattern, and it's breaking out here. T today was not uh, such an impressive move, but had this huge gap up here on massive volume and that's always something to take a look at uh, gap up and run um, I think this was the gap up on the news that Apple was going to uh, invest 800 million or so in uh, developing a power plant with them um, and I think that may have just ignited the whole solar sector uh, let's look at, look at TSL again we have a really shallow base here in the breakout um, this one's jumping up on big volume uh, on earnings news as well. Um, JSO, another cup, and right at the breakout point. And VSLR, this is, uh, I suppose, a new new one that I hadn't heard about, but um, just read about recently. Uh, the numbers are pretty impressive. The reaction was pretty good, even though the guidance was uh, weak, but uh, you know, ultimately, what happens on the chart is what matters. Um, you know, sometimes guidance is weak and the stock tanks 20%. And sometimes the guidance is weak and it still gaps up, you know, 15, 16%. So, you know, what do you make of it? You know, you, you, you don't try to analyze it yourself. You just look at the reaction of the people who have the money and know what they're doing and follow what they're doing. That's all that matters. And in this case, even though they provided weak guidance, the price gapped up, and this could be, you know, just a whole sector move, um, and they're just along for the ride. Um, but uh, this is another one. Uh, let's take a look at SunPower, <coughs> SPR again, another cup, um, kind of consolidating here. So a breakout above this price right here, which is 33.81, um, should be heading higher. Notice again on earnings the huge gap up and volume um, and if you didn't want to buy any of the individual stock oh, I guess I forgot the most obvious one solar city solar city is a little bit weak as you can see um, it's just barely uh, trying to break above its 10 day line and the volume is pretty low the earnings was not very impressive as you can see by the reaction so this is not a leading stock. Um, when a sector breaks out, you want to buy the leading stocks in that sector. And the leading stocks are the ones whose prices are making new highs um, and uh, just you know massive gains. Those are the ones that people are buying. There's demand for those stocks, and those will continue to buy. Now, it's not to say that Solar City won't make big gains. Maybe it'll recover to here. But obviously, it's lagging the market, the sector right now. So um, just something to keep in mind. But this is still a bullish pattern. Uh, if you didn't want to invest in any of the particular stocks, you can also get the ETF, which is TAN, T-A-N. And that's the Guggenheim Solar ETF. And uh, you know it's a safer bet. It's also reflective of the big move in solar. You've got a uh, cup pattern here and um, you could probably say this this was a small handle here and then massive gap up uh, in price here and the volume is definitely increasing. So this is a very solid move um, in the solar sector. How long it'll last we don't know but uh, it's I think it's still early because a lot of the stocks are breaking out here of the cup. So that's a quick look at the solar sector.